Hey everyone, in this tutorial we are going to see VideoPad. VideoPad is a video editor by the Insert software. The home edition of the VideoPad is completely free. So you can download it from the Insert software website. The link is in the description box. And now let's see the interface of the VideoPad. On the top left corner you can see we have this quick access toolbar. It contains commonly required tools to create new project, open media files or project, to save the project and to undo and redo the previous actions. Then on the top right corner we have these three buttons just like other windows application to minimize, maximize and restore and to close the application. By default video pad save the project with name untitled which we can change it later on. If you are thinking we are on the menu bar so it is below this icon. Click on it to open it and it will open the vertical menu bar. Hold your mouse cursor on any of the menu and it will open the submenus list. Video pad always open with the home tab selected and this is the most important tab in video pad. It contains all the tools required to edit the video. Then we have a clips tab to edit the clips. Then the sequence tab to edit the sequence and the audio tab to edit the audios. This is another important tab in VideoPad. It is called the export tab. Here you can select the format in which you want to export the video and also select the destination where you want to share the video. Next we have the suit tab. Suit tab contains all the programs by the insert software which you can use to create a beautiful videos. Next is a custom tab. You can customize this tab as per your need. Just click on the customize button and click on the options which you want on the custom tab. Then click on the ok button to add the tools on custom tab. If you don't want this, click on the customize button and uncheck the options. Then again click on ok button. Under tabs, on the left side, we have this area, it is called the bin. You can think bin like containers. They kept our videos, audios and images files. There are three different file bins for each of the media type. Like this one is for video files, this one is for audio and this one is for images. We are going to see them in detail when we learn how to import the media in video pad. On the right side of the bin, you can see we have clip preview and the sequence preview panel. If you click on the clip in the bin, it appears in the clip preview panel and if you click on the video track, it appears in the sequence preview panel. Both the panel you can use to preview your video clip. One when your clip is in the bin and another one when your clip is on the sequence. If you want, you can undock this window, click on the undock button and you can move it wherever you want it on screen and to take it back to its original position click on the same button again same way you can undock the preview panel just click on the undock button and this time if you want to take it back to its original position just click on the close button same way you can undock the sequence preview panel and take it back if you want to increase the size of the preview panel, you can drag this line. At the bottom, we have the sequence. Sequence is divided in two parts, video track and the audio track. So if you want to add the video, you have to put it on the video track. And if you want to add the audio, you have to add it on the audio track. So this is the interface of the video pad. 